This is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Good evening. It's tempting to say that after what just happened in Egypt, Iran is next. While it's hardly that simple. There were fresh protests there today and there's been another violent government crackdown. Video posted today on the internet via social media shows the various confrontations. The map of countries where there's been unrest going on in the region certainly seems to show something of a wave. And after the last citizens uprising in Iran was put down months ago, this time authorities aren't having any of it, at least early on, even after protests broke out in several different cities across Iran. Demonstrators shouted death to the dictator and were met with tear gas and worse. Internet use and media coverage from Iran have been severely restricted tonight. However, we have a report from Tehran from our NBC News bureau chief there, Ali Aruzi. Good evening, Brian. Tens of thousands of Iranians took to the streets today in a rally that was meant to show solidarity towards Egypt and Tunisia, but quickly turned into an anti-government protest. The streets of Tehran and other major cities swelled with protesters despite harsh warnings by the government, a ban on the rally, and leaders of the opposition being under house arrest. The rally started relatively quietly, but then chants of anti-government slogans could be heard throughout the city. It didn't take long before the rally turned violent. Anti-riot police tried to disperse the crowd with batons and tear gas, but the crowds just wouldn't go away. As evening fell, the crowds tried to make their way to Freedom Square, known as Azadi Square here, and tried to emulate the sit-in at Tahrir Square, but were beaten back by the Basij militia. Crowds here were clearly energized by events in Egypt and came out into the street despite severe consequences to themselves. Back to you. All right, Ali, thanks. We're fortunate to have the reporting tonight of Ali Aruzi, our Tehran bureau chief for NBC News.